Section 1.3, Linear Equations into Variables. Your life is the sum of the small yet, in, yet consistent choices that you make and do each day. So today we're going to be talking about linear equations. And the first thing we're going to talk about is um, slope. So the simplest mathematical model for relating two variables is the linear equation. And the form is y equals mx plus b. And we'll talk about this form in, in detail in a little bit. The graph of a linear equation is going to be a line. And the slope intercept form of the equation is given by y equals mx plus b, where b is the initial or starting value of the function, which um, x is equal to 0. So b is going to be your y-intercept. And m is the constant rate of change, which we call slope. So again, the y-intercept is going to be at 0b. And then slope measures how steep a line is. The slope can be found using the following formula. So m is the change in y divided by the change in, f, in x. And sometimes we say rise over run. And so the slope is going to be y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So this is going to be your formula. So in the last sections, we graph by plotting points and y, x, x and y intercepts. So today, we can also use slope to help us um, graph some of these equations. So in example one, we are asked to find the slope. And then we're going to graph the line and determine if it's increasing, decreasing, vertical, or horizontal. So the first thing is I'm going to label these points x1, y1, x2, y2. And then I'm going to write the formula where I can see it. And I can just substitute the values for x and y. So y2 in our example is 8 minus y1, which is negative 6, divided by x2 is 2 minus x1, which is negative 5. Negative, negative will become positive. So 8 plus 6 is 14. 2 plus um, 2 minus negative 5 will be 7. And so we get 2. So our slope here is 2. And so let me just plot these um, graphs. So I'm going to plot these points, negative 5 and negative 6. So right here, and then 2 and 8. And graph the line. OK, so you can see our line. Um, if we go from left to right, then this line is increasing. And notice that our slope is positive. So for uh, letter B, Let's plug in these numbers. So y2 is 5 minus y1, which is 2. x2 is 2 minus x1, which is 4. 5 minus 2 is 3. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. So my slope is negative 3 halves. Let's plot the points. So we have 4 and 2, and 2 and 5. So from left to right, you can see that the line is decreasing. And notice that the slope is negative. Letter C, we have y2, which is negative 6, minus 0, divided by 0, minus 0. So we end up with negative um, 6 divided by 0, which um, we cannot divide by 0. So we say that the slope is undefined. If we graph the points, 0, 0, and 0, negative 6. 
And so here you see that the line is right on top of this y-axis. And so this is a vertical line. Okay, so it's a vertical line and the slope is undefined. So here we get y2 is negative 1 minus x2, which is negative 1, 3 minus 0. So we get 0 divided by 3, which is 0. So my slope is 0. If we graph the line, then we get 0, negative 1, 3, negative 1. And so we get a horizontal line, and the slope is 0. So to summarize these four examples, the slope determines if the function is increasing, decreasing, or constant. And so if we look at the example 1, y equals mx plus b is an increasing function if the slope is positive. That was um, the first graph here. And it's going to be decreasing if the slope is negative. And y equals mx plus b is constant or um, horizontal. Um, constant just means it's a horizontal line. And that's going to happen when the slope is 0. So let's go to the next page. Number 12, page 12. So it says find the slope of the lines and determine if the line is increasing, decreasing, vertical or horizontal. Okay, so to find the slope, as we did before, we need a two points. So this point here is 0, 2, and this one's negative 2, 0. So one way to do this is to find the slope using the formula which I'll do here, but then I'll show you a second way. So y2 is 2 minus 0 divided by 0 minus negative 2. So we get that the slope is 1. Okay. So another way to find the slope is to look at it as rise over run. So if you have a graph, you can use rise over run. And basically, you start up at one point and ask yourself, how do I get to another point on the line? Not in a way that you go across here, but using the y and the x-axis. So rise represents your y values, you can see here. So if I'm standing here, then that means that I would have to go up and I would be going up two units. So for rise, I'm going to write a 2 since I'm going up 2 units. And then I would have to go to the right 2 units. And so that would give us m is equal to 1. Yeah. Or you can also start on this side. I'm going to draw it in red here. And this would require that this person goes down 2 units. So we would represent that with a negative. And then they would go to the left two units, which would be represented with negative. And as you can see, no matter where you start, your slope will still be the same. If you go down, you um, need to add that negative. If you go left, you add the negative as well. Okay, so let's look at the next one. So we can find a point that we know for sure what it is. So this one looks good and this one looks good. So we can use rise over run. So if we're standing here again, we're going to go up three units. And then we're going to go to the left one unit. So I represent it with a negative one. So my slope is negative three. Again, you can try it with the formula if you feel more comfortable with the formula. The slope-intercept form can also be used to find the equation 
of the line and can be used to graph equations. So recall that slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is your slope and b is your y intercept. To graph the line using the slope intercept form, we use the following steps. First, you want to identify the slope. Then you're going to plot the y intercept. And then use the slope and use the slope to find another point on the graph. So I guess before these three steps, you want to make sure that your equation is in this form. So here, um, my slope, well, one, this equation is in this form. So my m is going to be 1 fifth. And my y-intercept, which is the b, is going to be 2. And I can write this as 0, 2 for my um, point on the graph. Yep. So the first thing that we want to do is identify the slope, which we did. We did. Now we're going to plot the y-intercept. From this y-intercept, we're going to use the slope to find another point. So this is going to be the rise, and this is going to be the run. So from this point, it's telling us to rise 1 and run 5. So run is the x-axis, and rise is the y-axis. Since the 1 is positive, we move up. And then the 5 is positive, we're going to move to the right. And so here would be our next point. And so now that we have that, we can just sketch the graph by connecting these two dots. Yep, so this is another way that you can graph if you have a line. Let's try a couple more. Graph the linear equation. Y equals 3x plus um, 2. So first thing, identify the slope. Then we can identify the y-intercept. So I'm going to plot the y-intercept, which is going to be 0, 2. So that's going to be here. And then your slope is um, 3. And so I can easily write this as 3 over 1, which is still 3. So that's your rise, and this is your run. So we're going to go up 3 to the right 1. So that's going to be right here. And then we can sketch our, our graph, our line. Notice that it's increasing and the slope is positive. So that's one way you can check your work. Number five, um, this equation is not in this form. So first we need to solve for y. So I'm gonna subtract four x on both sides. And so I end up with y equals negative four x plus five. My slope is negative four and b is five. So we plot that first. And then from there, we take our slope. So our rise over run. We're, since the 4 is negative, we're going to go down 4. And then the 1 is positive, so we'll move to the right. And notice that the line is decreasing. So the next example here, <clears throat> writing linear equations in the equation y equals mx plus b, what does m represent and what does b represent? If we know these two things, then we can write the equation of a line. So recall that m is your slope and b is your y-intercept. 
So if we look at the graph, the y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. So this point is 0, 2, which means that b is going to be 2. And then your slope, we need to find our slope so we can use rise over run. So if I'm standing here, that means I'm going to go up 2. And then I'm going to go to the right 2. So that makes my slope equal to 1. Again, if you're more comfortable, you can use the um, formula. So now that we know m and we know b, then all we have to do to find the equation is replace these values into the form y equals mx plus b. So m is 1, then we have x, plus b, which is 2. So I'm going to rewrite this as x plus 2. So in this example here, my b is where the graph crosses the y-axis, so b is negative 3. And now the slope, I'm going to use this point here. So that means I need to go up 1, 2, 3. And then I need to go to the left, um, 1. Since I went left, then I use a negative. So my slope is negative 3. So now I can substitute m, which is negative 3. Then I have the x plus um, b, which is negative 3. And so that would be our equation.